Hello everyone and welcome back to the series where I talk about some trivia on the Japanese culture or language and some nuances that were lost in the translation of the Japanese audio to the English subtitles of the episode of an anime, in this case for the 10th episode of Chainsaw Man. What Tenji is reading in the hospital room of Aki is a manga magazine, Komiku Kongon, and is a reference to a real monthly magazine. Comic Bon Bon, that existed from 1981 to 2007. It was primarily focusing on stories around games and toys, with a lot of stories around series like Gundam, Mario, and Mega Man. Probably the most famous manga that came from that magazine is Medabots, that also got an anime adaptation of 52 episodes in 1999. Denji started to count power differently in this episode, translated into Paui, with a similar vibe as Miaui. The Japanese nicknames are Pawaku from Pawa and Nyanko from the sound of a cat, Nyan. Ko is something that is often added to a nickname to make something appear more childish or cute. It's a kanji that we see a lot at the end of a girl's name, like Nezuko, Ochako, Himiko or Shoko. Not sure if it's worth mentioning, but when Denji is questioning himself about what he feels, he first talks about losing not only his physical heart, Shinzo, but possibly also his figurative heart, Hito no Kokoro. Small nuance, but when the teacher is talking about power being mostly immortal, he says Hanbun Fujimi half immortal. Because the term was repeated three times between Kurose and Aki in the hospital, I thought I should include this point, the word was Kakugo and can be interpreted as resolution or preparedness. Both Denji and Power used a similar term when talking about the teacher, Alutu. This is an abbreviation from Alukolu Chudoku which can be interpreted as alcohol intoxication or alcohol addiction. Denji said Aluchu Yaro, drunk bastard, and Power said Aluchu Jiki, drunk old man. I tried to look more closely at the first page that we see of the letters from Himeno. There wasn't anything really important, but for those still interested, I'll leave a paste bin in a pin comment of what I was able to transcribe in my attempt to translate it. It might just have been a coincidence, but with the amount of time that the screen stayed on the room number of the future devil, it probably means that it was intended to be the exact number 108, like with the eternity devil and the number 8 from the floor and the time on the clocks that looks like the infinity symbol. From what I found, this number has some link to the Buddhist religion, being the number of worldly desires, Bonno, also represented in the number of beads from a prayer's rosary, Juzu, and the number of times a bell is rung in a bunch of ritual. They arrive at that number by taking the six senses organs, eyes, ears, nose, tongue, body, and mind, each having three degrees of desires, good, bad, or neutral, for a total of 18, that can be clean or tainted, for 36, then having one for each time tense, the past, the present, and the future, adding up to 108. Those worldly desires, Hyaku Hachi Bonno, are also called the 108 Kleshas, or the 108 Afflictions. That's all for this episode, if you want more content like this, you know what to do. Like the video to let me and YouTube know if you want more of those type of videos. Comment about the things that you found the most interesting or surprising. And of course, subscribe if you want to have more chance seeing when I upload more stuff. Anyway, it's the end of this video, and I'll see you next week.